coming out. Basically, get to commentate all the matches uh, that we were commentating for the winner side of the bracket. But now we yeah. have like the loser side. Yeah. Looks like it's almost coming to an end here as well. Of course, um, there's still one more wave of pools tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's the final wave before we get into the real top 48. The battle for the winner of the Mangle on the ultimate side. And of course, the battle for the last chance qualifier for Smash Summit all happens tomorrow. So a lot of action to be had in general. But let's get into a Fox 16 versus Wumbo. I like how Mega Man's uh, like to utilize Rush there and go for that um, back air. If you see them do that, usually they tend to do that when it's like a ledge or like off stage on the side over there because mm -hmm. his back air is super strong. It will definitely take your stock pretty early. I believe uh, Sonic Mega used to like to call it the bear call yes. because it was back air oh, and it was also slash crawl. Where is Sonic Mega? It's been so long. It's probably out there in E3 voice acting oh, a game yeah. right now. He's probably. not telling us about. I mean, yeah, I remember watching his um, in Smash 4, his Mega Man, and it <laughs> literally I remember killing uh, Jake at like I think it was 60% at the edge there. Super powerful. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, Fox 16 definitely is having, has an answer though. And with these projectiles uh, being all thrown out in his face, Wumbo Dumbo looks like he's he's holding his own yeah, for sure. He's doing a really good job of trying to make sure that he's not too far behind from Fox 16. Yeah. Pretty close. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's just kind of rolling to that one. Okay, yeah, we're going to see that Zare drop of um what is the metal uh, metal blade metal blade yeah i almost said metal gear <laughs> yo metal gear solid, solid um but no yeah we're definitely gonna see him uh wumbo dumbo is probably gonna want to get the setups with or off stage too uh dropping the metal blade going for those air drops it's pretty nice and it can also surprise your opponent when it hits you puts you in a situation that you're not used to might maybe you'll buffer uh an air dodge as well it's a little scary exactly Good space for Wombo. Definitely looking to just make sure he kind of respects Snake and uses that Leaf Shield to come back in. And that's kind of one of those things, that's, it's a difficult move to honestly deal with. Your best opportunity here is just to kind of space yourself and respect it. And also respect the actual throw of the Leaf Shield. That way you're a little more safe, because now all Leafs are actually active every time he throws it out. As compared to Smash 4, where each Leaf would disappear. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it was nerfed, but it's still a great uh, tool for Mega Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as you have it. to respect it. And we even saw Fox 16 looking to make a run for him, but unfortunately, they just couldn't find himself in the right space. All right, and kind of, I don't know. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're laughing at, but I was going to say. So, so, some off stream shenanigans, for sure. <laughs> I can't even hear what he's saying. Oh, okay. Oh, my dodge. Wow, that knockback. That almost killed him. Uh, well, not really, but like it definitely sent him back. Yeah. Sorry, I almost knocked the whole monitor over. <laughs> he's getting a little too hyped there. Good for yeah. you. Fox 16. I don't know. He's just kind of struggling here. He's also like a snake too. Usually, uh, you don't really see snakes struggle as much to get the stock. Um, but he's just taking him in a bit. I haven't really seen him. Um, utilize Nikita as well. Here it is for the ledge. Yeah. But you can also uh, utilize that in, in the neutral stage as well. Not just for when your character, like, the opponent's off stage. I like it. Look, tries to get a little bit of a fade away at the back end close to space, but unfortunately, Fox 16 that... Going for the actual RPG there on that forward smash. I'm sorry, down smash. It's It's got some in life, so you gotta be careful when you go for it. People usually... All snakes go for it when they have a definite read and they know their opponent's gonna hold shield and it can cause a shield break. Mm-hmm. There's Just that Nikita setup. I think mm -hmm. he threw a grenade up in the air, but then ended up exploding. I was going to say, at this point, with this much rage, if Mega Man just gets a grab on Snake, it could be Curtains here for the stock. Good parry. Looking for a grab. Empty hop. Doesn't get the opportunity. No aerial. And that's going to be the up oh, tilt. Not going to connect mm -hmm. at 170. What? Only a phantom hit. How did um, he miss that? I don't know, man. But he was robbed. He was robbed. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Um, and at the same time, too, um, I'd like to see him use C4 a little bit more. I haven't really been seeing that much on the stage. Usually, uh, snakes have a whole plan or map, basically, as they like yeah. to call it, just kind of playing it out as they go. They have everything planned out, spaced out how they want to. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Fox is looking like he's struggling a little bit. But somehow, yeah, the socks are back to even here. 1-1. Uh, both players at these low percentages here. This could be anyone's game. 
down throw, looking for the forward air instead. I would have also appreciated a backer. Usually at those percent that can, can connect, and then you get a little bit of a corner carry. Pretty good play. Using the leaf shield yet again. Definitely Wumbo knows this, this is my little percent here. And it puts Fox 16 at the respectable angle, and he also has to kind of respect it because he has no other way to challenge it if he does make the approach. Here's a Nikita though, Fox 16 looking to make these big plays count at the very last second. Down throw, even picks up the grenade. This is Fox 16's prime opportunity with this much of a lead. Nice, even gets the grab armor after he sets the rest. Okay, good job. Nikita follow up, that ended up connecting. Uh, but. Okay. So scary down. situation. Oh, and he wow. miscalculated the fact that the actual C4 was still there. What a fake out from Fox 16, only to make him feel it was safe, but you're never safe to land against me. That's true. All right, and that was game one too. Wow, I was. Did that seem long, or was that just me? That was that was game one. It, it, se it seemed like a long game, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, Fox 16 kind of had to bring it out to the long game because he knew in the short game, yeah. the one who was winning here was Wumbo. He's getting those leaf shields. He's getting those middle blades. He's getting those back airs. He brought it back, actually, yeah. yeah. So he knew, I have to make the long game. I have to respect Mega Man for his leaf shield. I ha and that's what it kind of comes down to. We've kind of seen the stage as a response to that, right? Now we have a bit of a flat stage. Only two platforms at the very end. And it kind of gives Fox 16 all the space to run around. With the platforms seemingly out of the way, but this also allows for less ledge setups from Snake because the nade palm from the up smash will only hit the platform. Right? Yeah, I was just gonna say that you could, you could see the explosion just fall off the platform. So that's something though that his opponents are probably gonna like want to jump, so he yeah. can start calling it up with another option. And we kind of saw aerial attack. We kind of saw directional air dodge coming out from Wumbo, but immediately Fox 16 calls it out. He's now back in control. I mean, last game we kind of saw it a little bit go even, but now with this much of a lead, Fox 16 just kind of has to bring it back to the long game as it was <laughs> the first game. No. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, Forward missing tilt. that up, yeah, uh, that up tilt there. Oh, yeah, the C4 as well. I feel like another thing too is like you'll see snakes. They like to go FD and stuff. Mm -hmm. But FD, if you go to like the traditional FD stage, that's probably one of the worst stages you can take snake because his C4 hides so perfectly yeah. within uh, like the background and everything of FD. And um, on this stage as well, it, you could definitely see it, but on like the ledge as well. You see, it's a little tricky there to see on that blue lighting yeah. underneath the platform as well. Exactly what I was just talking about. Didn't even see it. Walked right over it. Boom. Detonate it. He's gone. And when you think about it, C4 from Snake kind of hides pretty well on most of the stages. <coughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I like that air dodge up. On oh. Oof. He had no... He had, that was a good opportunity here, but the problem was that he didn't have anything to pressure Wumbo to decrease the shield. And he goes for the dare, but unfortunately it's not going to hit the Cypher at all. Great hold after the upspot. Yeah. A great response coming out from Fox 16. I mean, yeah, this is a complete uh, turnaround from the first game for Fox 2. Definitely um, really adapting to Wumbo Dumbo's play style here. And just like, alright, like, starting to call him out. Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, Wumbo doesn't really have a, a game plan. Yeah. And he's looking to try, try to close the gap, but that's the problem is that when he's trying to go into Snake Zone, this allows Fox 16 to have more of a setup, set up the oh stage, no. and then set up the whip punish. Hold the shield. Oh, I like it. He knew he was going to hold the shield and try to go for a grab. Mm -hmm. He kind of has him a little bit cornered here. Wumbo has an opportunity to get this there, sets up the crash bomber, and it only explodes barely enough for Fox 16 to make the recovery. That down tilt, not yeah. going to be enough. The crash bomber is a little missile that mm -hmm. holds on to you, right? That's like another thing, too, is... I haven't seen it been thrown thrown out as much, um, but here he's he's kind of like putting it on the, like the ledge of the stage as well. Yeah, um, hoping that that would just be some extra. Yeah, either to take the stock or just the f extra damage or it sticks on him, or even cause Fox 16 to go for a regrab and then get him yeah. with a down tilt or another aerial. That's and, smart, and it's really smart too. Forward smash, Ooh. I like it. A little bit of space. Goes there over goes. Nikita, he has him, he had him in shield too, and I like yeah. the fact that Wumbo sets up the force match because he also could have gone to shield, but with how much shield damage Fox 16 would have taken. Yeah, that's a lot of shield pressure, and as well, it abates your opponent to shield, and you can go up for um, grab or those follow-ups. There it is again. Oh, and what a tr 
<laughs> he brought it all around the platform and everything, and he said, you know what, fine, if you don't want it to hate